Hey, if you want to know how to switch on your NAS or a computer or the LAN or even the internet, then watch this video. Um, if you have Synology MR2200 IC router or RT2600 AC router, then you will be able to switch on your NASs, your uh, computers or even your TVs uh, through your phone app. On your phone, you're gonna have Synology uh, router app and you can uh, just switch on your NAS, switch on your uh, computer. Whenever, why would you want to do that? There are several reasons. For example, you forgot to do something in the office, so you wanna connect through the TeamView or something. So you can on the app, just switch it on and connect and, and uh, carry on working. Or um, if, it's, if you're going on a holiday and you keeping your NAS usually off and for um, power saving uh, reasons, then uh, you can just switch it on, uh, get images or upload something or whatever you want to do and then switch the NAS off. Or most of the time, some people maybe want to keep their NAS off if they're the only users and they want to use this NAS only for backup. So they might enable uh, power on schedule uh, in, in midnight so the backup can run and then it switches itself off when you need to retrieve some um, data and you're not uh, locally there, then you just uh, uh, activate, you can each switch on the NAS and get whatever you want, whatever you want. So let's just dig in and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, you will need Synology router up. You will need to set up um, a quick connect account for your router. So you could actually connect to your router on your mobile app remotely or the internet. Uh, if you don't have to do that, if you want to just do it locally in your local network, then you can activate through the LAN. So what you need to do is go to uh, Network Center, find the devices um, you want to set up for Wacom LAN. So you can change the names in Network Center. Um, then once you have done that, you just go to Network Tools, which is this app, and you will see in the drop down all the devices you have in your network. So all you need to do is um, choose which one you want to add for Wakulan. I already added Office PC. You can add other devices. The green symbol means that these devices are already on. If they would be off, all you would need to do is just click on that and you will switch that device on. I'll also add a video uh, somewhere in the corner showing how it works on the mobile app. Uh, the car to switch on is also as, as easy as, as, as clicking the button to switch it on or off. Um, so in order to do this, this is already the end game. You will need to actually enable uh, Wake on LAN on your PC or LAN. So I'll show you how to do that on the PC. Um, you, you will need to make sure that your BIOS is allowing this. So if, if you've got Windows, you press F2 or whichever um, key usually you have to get into BIOS. Usually it's F2. Uh, and then go to Wake on LAN settings and make sure that it's um, it's activated. F, press F10 to save. Uh, then um, also make sure it's activated on your Windows. So to activate this on Windows, you will need to go to um, Device Manager. You can do um, Windows key together with X and go to Device Manager and um, go and find your uh, Ethernet LAN port which you want to use for these Wake on LAN operations. So then do right click. Uh, properties and uh, you will get an option in power management tab to um, wake this device up uh, on LAN. So make sure that you allow this. The second thing what you need to make sure it's activated is um, when you go to advanced wake on magic packet. That should be enabled when once that is done um, you're ready, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> That's for Windows but if you want to enable that on um, uh, Synology NAS. You will need to go to control panel, hardware, power, power recovery, and then make sure uh, uh, you can select which actually LAN port you want to use for waking up LAN. You can you can select both if you want to. Uh, window uh, DSM seven very similar. Go to uh, hardware and power and control panel. Go in general, enable wake on LAN. So in this case, there's only one LAN port on the one bay solution, the one bay model. So there's only one tick there. So once you have done that, you have basically enabled Wake on LAN uh, options for your um, system, for your router. So once this is done, you will be able to 
uh, switch these devices on and um, and that that's about it that's how you do it uh, I hope this was video was helpful if you got any questions always go to NAS compares fill the forms and email to info NAS compares and we're gonna shoot video like this trying to help you help others cheerio